In this video, we'll take a closer look at the 10 most outrageously expensive government projects in Philippine history. These massive undertakings, ranging from groundbreaking infrastructure to ambitious energy initiatives, have shaped the country's development in profound ways. From the pioneering Malampaya gas field to the monumental New Clark City project, these ventures represent billions of dollars in investments and have sparked both awe and controversy. Without wasting time, let's get right into it. Number 10. Malampaya Gas Field The Malampaya Deep Water Gas to Power project signaled the birth of the natural gas industry in the Philippines. Located 50 kilometers offshore, northwest Palawan, the Malampaya project began its commercial operations in January 2002 and has contributed over $12 billion in revenues to the Philippine government while powering up to 20% of Luzon's electricity requirement. The Malampaya Deep Water Gas to Power project is one of the largest and most significant industrial endeavors in Philippine history, a joint undertaking of the Philippine national government and the private sector. The project is spearheaded by the Department of Energy, DOE, and developed and operated by Prime Energy on behalf of joint venture partners, Udena Corporation, and the Philippine National Oil Company Exploration Corporation. The project cost $4.5 billion and has produced cleaner burning natural gas, which supplies four power plants in Luzon the country's largest island, with a combined capacity of 3,200 megawatts. Since it began operations in 2001, Malampaya is benefiting the country in countless ways, including reducing oil imports, ensuring a more stable supply of cleaner energy from an indigenous resource, and meeting up to 20% of the country's energy requirements. In 2013, the company embarked on Malampaya Phases 2 and 3, which aim to maintain the level of gas production to fulfill commitments under existing gas sales agreements, thus ensuring the steady supply of natural gas to power the Luzon electricity grid. Two additional production wells were successfully installed in 2013 to signify the completion of Malampaya Phase 2. In 2015, Malampaya Phase 3, which involved the design, fabrication and installation of a new depletion compression platform was completed. This is the first offshore platform to be fully built in the Philippines, thus enhancing local employment opportunities and bringing technical expertise into the country. Number 9. Magat Dam Magat Dam is a large rock-filled dam on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. The dam is located on Magat River, a major tributaries of Cagayan River. Construction of the dam started in 1975 and completed in 1982. Magat Dam is one of the largest dams in the Philippines and acts as a source of irrigation water and hydroelectric power. Construction of the dam was approved by late President Ferdinand E. Marcos on May 7, 1975. Magat Dam was constructed in 1978 and inaugurated by the late press. Ferdinand E. Marcos on October 27, 1982, and started operations in 1983. Implementation of the dam was based on the preliminary study conducted in 1973 by the National Irrigation Administration, NIA, with the assistance of the United States Bureau of Reclamation, USBR, and the United States Agency for International Development, USAID. The project cost $3.4 billion and was jointly financed by Philippine government and the World Bank. The purpose of the dam was to improve on the existing Magat River irrigation system, Maris, and to triple the production of rice in the Cagayan River Basin. Number 8. New Manila International Airport, NMIA The New Manila International Airport project is a game-changer for the Philippines. A world-class airport that will be developed in phases with an initial capacity of 35 million passengers annually and a target of 100 million passengers per year. Once fully complete, the single largest investment in the Philippines to date aims to address the long-standing air traffic congestion in the capital, offering a safe, convenient and efficient solution to meet current and future demands for international travel. Positioned to serve Metro Manila, Central Luzon and the Calabarzon region, the project is set to generate over a million jobs, boosting the local economies of Bulacan 
and surrounding provinces. Located on a 2,500 hectare site in Bulacan, Bulacan, the development will include comprehensive infrastructure such as airfield facilities, a terminal building, and an airport city, all easily accessible from Metro Manila and Luzon. Land development is already underway to prepare the site for airport operations, with an estimated cost of 170.6 billion pesos, 287 billion. The project is to be developed, constructed, operated, and maintained by the San Miguel Corporation. Number 7. North-South Commuter Railway The South Commuter Railway project will provide affordable, safe, reliable, and fast public transport for commuters. This project represents the Asian Development Bank's biggest infrastructure investment and reflects their commitment to helping the Philippines attain its goals of reducing poverty, improving the lives of Filipinos, and achieving green, resilient, and high economic growth. The project is estimated to cost $4.3 billion and involves construction of the 54.6-kilometer Blumentritt Calamba section of the North-South Commuter Railway, connecting Metro Manila and Calamba, located in Laguna Province, around 50 kilometers south of Manila. The project will improve connectivity by connecting with all existing LRT, MRT lines in Metro Manila, including a connecting tunnel to allow the operation of direct trains from Calamba to stations on the future Metro Manila subway system. The project includes the construction of Ayanine stations designed to provide safe access for all, including the elderly, women, children, and people with disabilities. All infrastructure will be designed to be disaster resilient and able to withstand typhoons and earthquakes. Number 6. Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge. The Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge, BCIB, is designed to provide a permanent road link between the provinces of Bataan and Cavite, the key missing link in the road network of the National Capital Region, Central Luzon, and Calabarzon. The BCIB will be approximately 32.15 km long and will comprise of two cable-stayed bridges for navigation channels, 24 km of marine viaducts, and 8 km of approach roads. It also includes a U-turn facility near the Corregidor Island for future connection. Under the BCIB project, a capacity-building program will be provided for the government to ensure adequate capacity in operation and maintenance and management of the BCIB and future large and complex bridges. A tourist center and supporting facilities will be established at the north approach of BCIB, providing information about the rich ecosystem and diversity of destinations on the Bataan Peninsula and Corregidor Island. It is estimated to cost 175.7 billion Philippine pesos, approximately USD 3.6 billion, and is primarily financed by the Asian Development Bank, ADB which is providing substantial funding and technical assistance. Number 5. Makati Intracity Subway The Makati Intracity Subway, MKTR, is a planned underground rapid transit line located in Makati, Metro Manila. The subway will link establishments across the city's business district. The construction of it was planned through a public-private partnership program between the Makati city government and a private consortium headed by Philippine Infradev Holdings. Construction of the subway was expected to begin in December 2018 and completed by 2025. Unfortunately, the construction of this project was put on hold after the transfer of jurisdiction of the 10 EMBO barangays from Makati to Taguig was finalized in 2023. This is because its planned depot and some stations were intended to be located in the formerly disputed area, according to the original proposed alignment, thus requiring a reworking. The subway will cost 3.5 billion and is expected to accommodate 500,000 passengers daily. It will also have seven stations, with connections to the existing MRT Line 3 and Pasig River Ferry Service. Number 4. San Roque Dam The San Roque Dam the largest in the Philippines and the 16th largest in the world, is a 200-meter tall embankment dam on the Agno River, spanning the municipalities of San Manuel and San Nicolas in Pangasinan. The project, 
which cost approximately $1.19 billion, includes a 12.8 square kilometer reservoir extending into Itogon, Bengay, and serves multiple purposes, such as power generation, irrigation, and flood control. The San Roque Power Corporation, SRPC, financed and constructed the dam under a Build Operate Transfer BOT agreement with the National Power Corporation, NPC. Ownership of the dam and spillway was transferred to NPC upon completion in 2003, while SRPC will operate the power facilities for 25 years before transferring ownership to NPC. The dam plays a crucial role in the region's economy, contributing to the Northwest Luzon Economic Growth Quadrangle. Number 3. Metro Manila Subway The Metro Manila Subway, formerly known as the Mega Manila Subway, is an under-construction 33-kilometer underground rapid transit line that will run north-south through Metro Manila, connecting key cities including Valenzuela, Quezon City, Pasig, Taguig, Paranaque, and Pasay. With 17 stations, the subway also feature a direct airport rail link to Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Touted as the project of the century, construction began in December 2019, but faced delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic, with full completion expected by 2029. The project, costing $7.06 billion, is largely financed by a loan from the Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. Integrated with Metro Manila's public transit system, it will allow passengers to connect with various urban rail lines. As of May 31, 2024, the project had reached 1448% completion, according to DOTR officials. Number 2. Bataan Nuclear Power Plant The Bataan Nuclear Power Plant, BNPP, was conceived during the 1970s in response to the oil crisis, with plans to build a 621 million watts of electric capacity Westinghouse nuclear reactor at Napot Point, Bataan. Construction began in 1976 and was completed in 1984 at a cost of over 2.3 billion. However, the plant was never fueled or operated due to safety concerns particularly after the Chernobyl disaster in 1986 and allegations of corruption during its construction. Although the Marcos administration supported the project, it was ultimately mothballed under President Corazon Aquino. Despite discussions on refurbishing the plant, with estimates ranging from $800 million to $1 billion, the BNPP remains unused, with ongoing debates about whether to revive it or pursue other nuclear options, including small modular reactors. The Philippine government made the final payment for the plant in 2007, and it currently incurs an annual maintenance cost of $800,000. Number 1. New Clark City Project New Clark City, originally known as Clark Green City, was planned and initiated by the Bases Conversion Development Authority, BCDA, under Arnel Paziano Casanova's leadership in 2012. Despite initial skepticism due to its remote location, Casanova envisioned the project as the Philippines' first green and smart metropolis, addressing climate change challenges and Metro Manila's severe traffic issues. Designed to be sustainable and resilient, the city features parks, tree-shaded pedestrian lanes, and innovative technologies. AECOM won the design competition in 2015, with the total project cost estimated at $14 billion. This ambitious development aims to create a modern urban environment free from the issues plaguing existing cities. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.